I haven't uploaded too much content on my channel, but if you've seen some of my other videos, you may know that I have a storage server in my closet, and a not one, but two monitor setup. Holy cow, that's amazing. No one's accomplished that before. But anyway, you may know that I like lots of tech and different stuff. And also you may think that our whole house is filled with all sorts of new cool tech devices and all that cool smart home Alexa spies on you stuff. Um, it's not really the case. Welcome to our video of computers and stuff. Now this video is particularly a special video because it is the first to include an intro. So if my house is not as tech savvy as I may think it is, then you must think that it's just missing a gigabit switch or something like that. But actually, no, it doesn't have any switch. Follow me. This is the head of our home network. It's an Aris XB2. We used to have a very similar model that we rented out from our ISP before we bought this one. This thing functions as a modem, router, switch, and access point. All of those cables back there go to all the wired devices. Excuse the bad camera angle, but here we have all of our ethernet. There is a cable coming from Comcast, and there's the power. And up here there's a couple phone lines and USB. There's a Wi-Fi protected setup button on the top. On the front we can see that it's 802.11n. We've got a battery light if you want to put a battery in, the telephone lights if you have the telephone, Wi-Fi, the online, USDS, and power. Next to the computer desk, we have a Dell Dimension E521. This functions as a home media server, and it's not the best, but it works fine as a media server. It's actually kind of a cool looking case with this air intake. On the back, we just have power in and ethernet. We control it via remote desktop. Next we have an Epson XP440, and I know it's an inkjet, but it's a lot better than our old stylus, which the ink costs a lot more. The coax cable for the modem comes in through the wall. There's also an ethernet jack behind the computer desk, which leads to the Blu-ray player. The cables run in the crawl space to this jack. It connects via ethernet to our Samsung Blu-ray player. Yes, we do have a smart TV, but it's not very smart. The Blu-ray player is much faster when loading Netflix and Amazon Prime. Another cable that comes from the modem is this ethernet cable that goes to my brother's room. It goes out the window right here. It goes up to a Cisco router for Wi-Fi, as well as an Xbox One. We do have a Blu-ray player upstairs, but it only operates via Wi-Fi, and it doesn't get the best signal. My dog will also need a better Wi-Fi connection. I was planning on where to put the new modem and switches and stuff, and then I found the best spot. The laundry room is the best spot because there's a big hole in the corner which will allow the cables to run into the crawl space. And all the cables are already running into the crawl space which makes it perfect. Here are the devices I will use. Here is a 100 megabit switch made by Netgear. It's a pretty good switch, I know it's just 100 megabit, but we aren't doing any huge downloads or huge things like that, so it should work pretty good. It's got all the port lights there and we're able to connect up to 16 different devices. Here's some Cat5e Ethernet cable, which I'll be using. Some random stuff I found. As for a router, we've got this Cisco one right here. I've also got this Belkin one too, which is a pretty nice one. As for patch cables, I'm just going to use a bunch of random Cat5e cables. Alright, so here's a little mini video thing I'm going to do. Um, so with upgrading the network, I'm actually not going to use this for um, our home network downstairs, but I'm going to use this for my own. My routers are currently 100 megabit, and so are my Ethernet cards. I'm running Cat5e cable, so that's basically can be gigabit. So here's the first gigabit router I'm going to use. So this will basically be one of my first updates. I do have another one coming, but first I'm just going to kind of go through this, and I'm going to replace this in my own network, and then we can use the ones that are currently in my network for the downstairs one. All right, so I got this on eBay. Still got the plastic on it, which I guess is good. Protective covering, and then it's been like, I don't know, it's, it's older, but it's still a gigabit. And it's, it's a nice router, it's a higher quality one than the current one I have in there. And this is a nice feature, though I'm not going to use it because I already have a server. Um, I suppose I could like put a flash drive in there for quick storage if I ever needed it. 
worst case scenario with my server or anything like that. But right now I don't think I'll ever really need it for anything. Um, you got tons of indicators, which I love indicators. I mean, um, the fact that they're getting rid of them today, I don't really like that. So um, I like that this one has a lot of them. So you can kind of see what's going on in your network. You got all the indicators for the ports. Um, got WPS, indicators for that. Um, wireless, wired, storage, router, modem, internet, dual antennas up here. And I forget if this is dual band with 5 gigahertz or not, but we'll see. Here's my current router. It's, like I said, 100 megabit. And I am going to um, replace it with the new one. The new one did not come with any cables, but that's okay because I already have the same type of adapter, 12 volt, 1.5 amp. And we'll just basically replace this. And we're going to have to do some cable management back there, but for now, this should work okay. And I'll have to log in to configure some of the settings. Um, but so far, it looks pretty good. And this will be my main DHCP server, stuff like that. And then I also have another switch, gigabit switch coming in, a Netgear. Even though, even though this were 100 um, megabit cards in here, we are acquiring speeds up to um, 100 megabyte. Now... If you don't know the difference between megabit and megabyte, a megabit is 0 0.125th of a megabyte. So basically, we are acquiring almost gigabit speeds. Now, it's, it's kind of a little bit slower. I was getting faster speeds with videos because I'm co copying a lot of weird like software. So right now, I think I'm copying like some sort of a Linux. So it works good for me. Let's move on. So I ran the cable in the crawl space to the one Ethernet jack by the computer and the other by the Blu-ray player. I have not moved the cable for my brother's Xbox yet. I also have a coax cable going up to the laundry room. So here's one of the cables going to the modem right now. And we did a speed test. And here are, uh, the, here are the results. We've got 113.5 download speed, megabytes, and 5.67 upload speed. So there you go. The washer is washing. Okay, so here we have it. I just set it up. So USDS is flashing, which means setting it up. Hopefully it gets started soon. Um, otherwise, I'll just revert it back to normal. Here we have the switch. We have the modem right next to it, which will also be the router for now. And hopefully it works. It's been a long time, and we have another load of laundry going. So. I think it was actually, there's a problem with the modem, and I think the problem was actually with Xfinity. Um, I think their services were actually out, um, and it's like, yeah, great, so now everyone thinks that my, um, my upgrade just broke our, to our modem, so now it works just fine, and it, the problem was either Xfinity um, service went out, or there was a bad cable, something like that, but now it's working just fine, and so that's good. And also, uh, when we called Xfinity, they said, when we tried to get in touch with a uh, representative, they, um, they said, our system cannot currently process the request. Please uh, try again um, in a few minutes. And it's like, wow. So I think their service was actually out. Um, but it's working fine now. So I'm really glad. I'm really glad this thing is working. And yeah. So here we have the modem and router, which serves as the DHCP server. And here we have the 16-port switch, which is 100 megabit. This RJ45 cable goes to the Blu-ray player, this one to the modem, and this one to the other router and the computer. I use the Belkin router as a switch and access point. It also has dual band Wi-Fi. Though this may not be the best setup, it's still a network closet which will make it easier to add and upgrade components in the future. It will also expand the Wi-Fi range. I hope you enjoyed this video on computers and stuff. Check out the social links in the description. Not too active on social media or anything, but if you want to send me a message, go ahead and check down there. Subscribe if you like this content, give it a thumbs up, tap that notification bell, and you will receive updates whenever I make a new video. Check out my recent videos and subscribe right here. I will see you in the next video.